Hey everyone! Before we get started today, I wanted to give a big massive shout out to my dear friends Matthew, Aiden, and Toontoon. I met them through this channel several months ago. They're an amazing, lovely couple who are engaged, by the way, getting married later this summer. Uh, but they do gig work here in Seattle. They need our help. They are trying to move out of a truly god-awful apartment as soon as possible. It is full of black mold that is making them sicker and sicker every day. The building only has shared bathrooms, so they can't escape their neighbors, many of whom are abusive and threaten violence against them because they are part of the LGBTQ community. One of their friends was even murdered in the building several months ago. Like, wow, it's really bad. If you want to learn more about them, go to their YouTube page, give them a follow, and their GoFundMe page will also be linked in the description. Please consider making a contribution to their efforts if you can. And with that, now let's dive into some more Bad Drivers of Seattle. Surprise, motherfucker! Use your mirrors! Use your mirrors! Open the door right in front of me. I was gonna say, pull all the way in, but then he made it even worse by opening his door. Funny. Uh, that's straight sex or something. I don't know what it... Because that's like a dude wooing a woman in 1979, so that's fine. But you can't be in a weird thing with somebody on the committee. That's what it is, I think. Brilliant. Uh, maybe. <laughs> this talk, this walk and talk takes place in uh, Mount Washington, which is um, one of the most well-known places for sightseeing in Baltimore. Um, and seeing it in 1979, like I paused a couple oh, wow. times because the, the city skyline the is a little went. different. Mm. Yeah. Anyway. Um, cool. But the, the, the other thing about this scene that is... Hates. Hates. It's just, they, every, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. We've got a lot of... Nope. You know what? This movie brings the formula. We have a lot of nothing. There is nothing that there's a lot of. We do. But we're going to take a break anyway. We'll be back. We're going to dive into all the banality that is at the shrub. All that for what? White people. We have a lot of white people. Okay. Yeah. That's. <laughs> Got a ticket. Is your ass is sticking out? <laughs> the car is still here. Can I, can I buzz saw through this car? Question. That's why you didn't, you didn't uh, know what I was going to answer. You interrupt yep. me every time I'm about to ask you something. You know what I mean? Appropriate age. And it doesn't define what developmentally appropriate is. So it's an, as is, is this case for many of these bills, it's an absolutely terrible, terribly written bill that leaves all sorts of yep. open. And at the end of the day, that was read for a while. Parents can sue if basically they. Prius without their lights on. I'm so surprised. Uh, of why he's actually he was driving around, he had a broken tail light, he was a computer error, they thought he was a different guy. No. When he was in lockup, he was framed. No. So now, you know, you have all of this piled on top of each other. Very and good. Good job parking in the bike lane. So he's a jerk, and I'm defending it. Um, yeah, it's not. Yeah, the jury probably doesn't know that. Yeah, it's unlikely that the jury is up on. Uh, it's kept you know, up with the drama, courthouse drama. What are you doing? Yeah, which judge liked which lawyer? <laughs> yeah. This side goes that way. 
This side goes that way. What the fuck are you doing? Establishing that Judge Assface is the hanging judge. Right. He hates criminals. That yeah. You have the, the Jeffrey Tambor's client is. Oh raining. my God! I thought they were raining him, but no. Apparently, they've like waived their right to the jury trial. It has to be. Can't park there. In front of the hanging judge. Park face. Which would establish yeah. that Jeffrey Tambor is. in the back line. Two hours later. Three minute passenger load is over there. This is the bike lane. Then you were lying before, and then you lied again when I told you that you were lying about it because you don't get to call it Noah's Ark, and you don't get to say it was Noah's Ark. Oh, and that's acknowledge, nice. as you've done twice now, that there's no way to demonstrate that it is Noah's Ark. Why are you lying for Jesus? That's real nice. All I can say is. Yeah, I mean, not how that works. <laughs> Can't wait for two cars to pass you. <laughs> this guy can't be bothered to turn his lights on. There you go. I got it. It's like a dozen cars a night. Yeah. <laughs> and like nine out of, I've noticed about nine out of ten of them are Toyotas. Really? Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, that's definitely a design flaw then. Oh, that they, yeah. I wonder, I don't think I've ever... Is that real quick? Oh, yeah, what if we shuffle up the title deeds and hand them out like the beginning of Monopoly? Yeah, 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 yeah. there we go, that's it. Exactly. Also, oh my god. Law talking guy, the guy who's like the law, he fucking deep throws that. Turn your lights on! He's a cigar and he deep throws that thing. I mean, like, I was like, is it on top? I can't take him. I can't take him his word because he he said something honest and then had to go on. Uh, Tucker Turn Carlson. Turn your fucking lights on. Yeah, go full eight Tucker Carlson you. live on television uh, because he said something that was actually accurate, talking about January as a violent insurrection. Uh, He's not only planning to invade; he was planning a large-scale invasion, a full-scale invasion, with the aim of taking over Ukraine. The United States has been warning about that explicitly for months. Also for months, Russia has been denying it. Here in the book, Midas Mulligan, that's the first round draft pick, he's the wealthiest banker in the world. <laughs> that's the little description. Oh, shit. <laughs> so he has just like more gold than anybody else. Yeah, that's the best. That's not a spike. <laughs> so, and speaking of the characters not having people names, not on at all. Dagny Taggart was um, so I go I go to this pickup area pickup point. Oh wow, just to turn right from the center lane. Good job. Um, that's the kind of stuff that I'm that I might I'll review that and I'll look I'll look at that and see.
Nation. Good job parking in the bike lane. Why, why? You could park over there. <laughs> right, so yeah, but so, but Dagny shows up, so they have this, I guess it's supposed to be meat cute, but they're talking about steel prices, what are you so doing? I'm so bored, I have to like, oh, hire someone to wake me up constantly for this fucking scene. <laughs> Great place to U-turn. <laughs> my notes, oh my god, this is business. Written by someone whose idea of business is buying an NFT oh. of a book. <laughs> That's what this dialogue is. The light blood of those podcasts. And unlike those weeks and weeks of notes on the Weeks and weeks of notes on the Weeks and weeks of notes on the Weeks Listening to this will bring you... It certainly is a, a violation of attorney contract fire. Yeah, attorney fire firework. Attorney, attorney fireworks. You, you can, you can disclose confidential what? Attorney information. Attorney fireworks client privilege. <laughs> Why? You can disclose confidential information, quote, to reasonably prevent certain death or substantial bodily harm. Go. Go, you dumb shit. Property of another and in furtherance. Handle, but not with. <laughs> and in furtherance of which the client has used or is using the use of the That looks so safe. In other words, if, if they're using you to uh, harm. I'm not suggesting this. What is this? What is it with people going the wrong way up here? Going the wrong way. Our mother is determined, honest, and never break a promise to anyone. There are other things she'd rather do. She can demonstrate commitment and is loyal and never brags. I think she would make a great brilliant Supreme Court of Justice. So whenever I see a folksy little name. I always look it up. I'm not No, I'm cooler than that. And so I looked up the Witherspoons, and I found all kinds of good stuff about them. They're based in Princeton. They're a nonprofit organization that tries to the family research. Oh my God. And Roman Catholic traditionalists, um, and and so on and so forth. Come on. We didn't have to have a good talk. Uh, so I feel that the pressure of like independent evidence was something too much to bear. But I think if you reflect on it all and you realize the importance of it, instead of projecting about it, um, you'll actually just go, hey, this this affects me because I believe in this stuff. So I'm going to go. myself. So think about that for a second. What like are you I waiting said, on? Call, I'm going to move on because none of that stuff is in my worldview. It doesn't bother me. I'm not tethered or angered by bullshit. So go and it. Um, anyway, he is barely my assholes. <laughs> Ow, you stabbed me with the oh olive boy. spiky thing. God damn it. <laughs> but they're all sitting around plotting on how to use government regulations to bring Reardon and his They are still here. Oh, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> Anybody in there? Wow. 
What the fuck? Go. Holy shit. I know you're in there. What a great parking spot. Let's go. You guys are parked in the street. Hurry the fuck up. I shouldn't have to go around people. Well, have you thought about, I don't know, not doing that? Your lights aren't on. 